सो हाई गाइज दिस इज द एडिटोरियल वीडियो ऑफ कोर्ट शेफ कोक ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्रॉब्लम ऑर्थोडॉक्स डिस्टिंगशन सो लेट्स लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो वी हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड विद द इंटीजर सिक्वेंस फ्रॉम ए वन टिल ए एन एंड फॉर एनी इंटीजर वैल्यूज एल कॉमा आर वी नीड टू फाइंड द क्यूमुलेटिव और फ्रॉम एल टू आर सो देर आर हाउ मेनी पॉसिबल पेयर्स एन इन टू एन प्लस वन बाय टू पॉसिबल पेयर्स एंड फॉर ईच पॉसिबल पेयर वी नीड टू फाइंड द क्यूमुलेटिव और फॉर द गिवन सीक्वेंस एंड वी नीड टू चेक दैट इफ द क्यूमुलेटिव और इज पेयर वाइज डिस्टिंक्ट और नॉट so let's analyze this problem with the help of an example suppose we have an array of 1 comma 2 so how many possible combination are there that is 1 2 and 1 comma 2 so the cumulative or for these values will be 1 2 and 3 and these values are pair wise distinct as we can see these all values are distinct so the answer to this particular problem will be yes if any value is repetitive then the answer will be no so let us understand the logic of or so the logic for or will be if we have zeroth bit in both the numbers then the resultant bit will be zero if any of the bit has one then the resultant bit will be one so this is the logic for the or so let's look at the observations that we can derive from the problem the first observation is that we'll have to see a change in the number so the when the number is changing so how we can see this is if we are able to change a position with bit 0 so if we are able to convert a bit with value 0 to 1 then we are able to change the number so let's see with the help of an example so let us suppose we have number 1 with this particular com uh, configuration and number 2 with this particular configuration so we are ordering these values right so this number has the number of set bits here and a bit with value 0 is here so when this number will produce a new number so we need to identify that when this number will produce a new number so the point is that if we are able to change this bit the value with zero then a new number will be produced so the number of ones in the bit are not affecting the number right so if we or the number of ones with any number with any bit right so if we or this particular one with one The answer will be one. If we or this particular one with zero, the answer will be one. So at the end, it will produce one only. But how we can find a new number? So we are able to find a new number if we are able to change this particular bit. That is the bit with value zero. So if we are able to change the number of bits in a given number with value zero, then ultimately we will produce a new number. Otherwise, we are not able to produce a new number. So here we can see that we are changing the values of these ones. right so we are changing the values of these ones by ordering it with 1 and 0 but we are ultimately getting 1 why because 1 or 1 will be 1 1 or 1 will be 0 so we are not able to get a new bit here so ultimately we can get a new bit only if we are able to change 0 to 1 so here in this case we are not able to change this particular 0 so let us suppose this example right so here we have 1 in this particular case and the value of 0 or 1 will be 1 so here we are getting a new result so the observation is that if we are able to change the value of z a bit with value 0 then we will we will be able to get a new number right so this is the first observation that we can get from the problem so the approach to solve this problem is sort the array in non increasing order and calculate the cumulative or and check if the values present in the unordered set or not if yes then the answer will be no because we are getting a repetitive value and if the value is not present then insert it in the set so let us analyze this approach with the help of an example suppose we have an example of 8 6 and 5 right so we have an example of 8 6 and 5 and now what do we need to find we need to find the cumulative or so the cumulative or of 8 and 6 will be this value so what do we get here is we get 3 a uh, places with bits 0 so we need to check that if 6 can change any of these zeros yes 6 can change these two zeros so ultimately it will produce a new number right that is 1 1 1 at these particular three positions now what do we need to check whether 5 can produce a new number or not so how many zeros do we left do we have here in this particular case so we have only one zero that is here so if this particular bit is changed by 5 then what do we have we can have all pairwise distinct cumulative or why because this 5 can change this bit as well and this bit will be zero in all the above cases right 8 also have zero in this 
place six also have zero in this place and the cumulative all uh, cumulative or of all these subsets will have zero because this is the ultimate cumulative of all the numbers that we have here and these numbers will also have subsets so the subsets will ha also have zero in this particular position so if this position is changed then all of these position will be changed and we'll have new numbers in these cases right so here we can see that 5 has 1 over this particular case in this particular bit and this particular bit uh, will change this bit right so the result will be a new number so we need to find the cumulative or till the number we are entering and we need to check that the number entered in the set can change the cumulative or we have calculated till the particular ith position or not if yes then what do we do we'll insert this number in the set so this is the up so why are we sorting it in a descending order so the answer to this question is to get the value of one which is at the maximum left so let us understand this with the help of an example suppose we have an array of one two and seven and we'll convert these numbers to binary so that will be 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so if we'll find the cumulative or of this value then it will be 1 1 right so the cumulative or, or, or of these two values will be 1 1 so if we will check that we'll have no zeros in this particular case so we'll see that there can be no change possible in this particular case and we'll give the output but this one is changing a one which is this one is changing a zero which is present to the left of these two values 1 and 1 right so this one this particular one is changing a value that is present on the left of these values that we get from these two values by cumulative or of these two values so why we are sorting in the descending order is to get the value of the leftmost possible one in the given array so the greater value will have the leftmost one all right you can understand this because the number which is maximum will always have the leftmost one possible and all the numbers which are smaller than this particular number will have the ones in the right side right so to get the maximum left possible one what do we need to do we need to sort the array in the descending order so these are the points of this particular problem so let us see the code for this problem so we'll input the test cases and we'll input the integer n and we'll input all the values in the array now what we need to do we need to sort the array so we'll sort the array and reverse the array to get a array in the descending format right and what do we need to do we need to maintain an unordered set and an integer which is pro which is calculating the cumulative or so from i equals to 0 till i less than n what i am calculating is i am calculating the cumulative or in the variable pro and i am checking if this variable if this cumulative or is present in the unordered set or not if the uh, cumulative or is present in the unordered set then i'll i'll initialize c with one in uh, initially the c is zero and if the cumulative or is present in the set then i'll making c equals to one and breaking from the loop right so if c equals to one that means there is a copy of the value of cumulative or and the answer will be no otherwise the answer will be yes so this is the code for the problem and if you have any doubts regarding this problem you can always ask your doubt in the comment section or you can send your doubts in the email provided in the description so thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe